So let's go back to a different function, to a different file right over here to learn about global variables. So Alice and Bob in this example are global variables. Okay, so let's go ahead and just refresh your memory with this, right? We've created Alice, we've created Bob, we told Bob to go and, and we told Alice to go someplace and we told Bob to go someplace. Tell Alice to go here and Bob to go here. And inside this uh, function, we say bob.color is equal to green. And we say when you come in here, this is a variable that's created specifically for, uh, that exists inside of here. This is a variable that is specific that we created specifically inside the draw square function. So, um, when I say Bob is equal to green, when I've called Alice, that really applies to Alice. However, there's nothing stopping me from referring to variables outside of a function that are on the global level. In other words, at this outermost indent, Alice dot color. Let's go ahead and make this more obvious by doing Alice second is equal to uh, red. So Alice, so what happened here? We said Alice's color is equal to red, Bob's color is blue. Alice, go this way, pass it in here. So the variable, the label called uh, Bob, whoever's wearing the Bob label, turn yourself green and Alice turned herself green. And then Alice said, hey, in fact, I can remove this. This will make it a bit more obvious. And then we'll say, and then Alice said, hey, Alice, turn yourself red. Now there's no Alice that exists inside this function. So Python goes, well, wait, there's no Alice inside of here. Maybe there's an Alice outside of the function at the top level. And it finds Alice at the top level. So it says, Alice, turn yourself red. Now this is considered to be bad form. You don't want to access your global variables uh, from, from outside of a function. Sometimes, though, it's the only way to do things. It's also sometimes useful, say, if you have a lot of equations that are working with... Um, I mean, gen generally, you don't want to change things. That's probably the best way I want to say it. In general, you don't want to change something. So why is this even a thing? Well, because, say, I'm working with a lot of circles, right? I can define pi up here to be equal to uh, 3 3.14159, right, and now I can use it in all my functions, which is pretty useful. So that, that, that becomes, a, so global variables can be useful if you have something you're going to use a lot and you don't want to redefine it. But in general, avoid uh, basically global functions, otherwise you're going to just code yourself into the circle. Try your best to make your functions completely self-contained without any what we call side effects. Uh, try to make them so that basically the that only the func the function inside here is the only thing that exists. It doesn't affect anything outside the function. Doesn't use anything outside the function. If you have to have a good reason for it. Um, that is really all I have to say on that because it's one of those that really require uh, that requires you to take a look at other stuff.